a while, you will know that I am a massive herb and spice enthusiast. In fact, I have a drawer full to the brim with Schwartz spices. And if you click this video up here, you'll get a bit of context for that. Now, if you do not know your cumin from your coriander, or perhaps you just don't want to faff around with tonight's meal, well, Schwartz have come up with a genius shortcut for you. So I'm teaming up with Schwartz Herbs and Spices today to celebrate their new street food seasoning. And they've given me a set, or oh, thanks, thanks to Ben, thanks Ben, kindly arranged a set of mystery ingredients that will hopefully prove that these spices can turn any of the most simplest shopping lists into something ridiculously fun and exciting. So I'm not gonna choose my spice just yet. I'm gonna see the ingredients and make a judgment from there. Yeah? Great. You ready? Any more ingredients? <laughs> okay, okay, great. So we've got a massive squash. That's the biggest squash I've ever seen. Pars parsley, lemon, couscous. Yeah, couscous, and some feta. Five ingredients. Okay. Well done, Schwartz. Challenge accepted. So now we're going to choose our spice. Which, to be honest, all of these would actually work. Sriracha is a Thai, I'm not feeling Thai, I'm not feeling Mexican. Korean, I want to use that more on meat than I do on my veggies. Caribbean jerk, I've actually had this one. <laughs> but I haven't used baharat, but I've heard about it and I'm gonna give that one a go. Why not? So baharat is a Middle Eastern spice. It is coriander, garlic and black pepper. It's mild spicy. We like it. Let's do a bit of bacharat. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to treat the squash as our kind of central ingredient, mainly because it's so massive. I don't think I'm going to need the whole of this, actually. And I'm going to use the bacharat to season it. It's got a bit of a bitter tone to it, which will go really nicely with the sweetness of the squash. So let's do that. I'm going to cook that off. I'm going to whack those in. Actually, yeah. Lemon else, Schwartz, this makes it really easy. All right then, first we're gonna prep our squash. I'm gonna need a roasting dish. I'm gonna set my oven to about 200 degrees. You should get the squash nice and soft, but also give you a bit of a caramel edge to it. I'm gonna get a nice, strong, sturdy knife, and we're going to prep our squash. The ends are really hard to cut through, so I'm actually just gonna take that off for ease. You don't need to peel this. There's so much nutrient and flavor in the skins. We're just going to de-seed. I'm now going to cut this into some half moons. About a centimetre in thickness will do. I'm not going off at an angle here, not sure why. I'm actually going to cut these in half again. We're going to go for more of like little quarter moon wedges. And I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Schwartz did say that I could have some pantry items. They're not animals. <laughs> wasn't a cruel challenge. Oil over the top. And it's going to help our baharat stick. We're going to sprinkle our whole sachet over the top. Oh, wow. Oh. Flavour, come at me. Make sure that we've got them all nicely covered. For people who don't cook with butternut squash, get a butternut squash. They're so versatile. You can like stuff them, roast them, shred them into spaghetti like they are such a good ingredient there you have it looking beautiful smelling outrageous and we're going to go into our oven and these will need about 20 to 25 minutes keep an eye on them make sure those skins are starting to go lovely and caramelized and the, the center of your squash is a bit soft now we're going to crack on with our couscous. Now this is like giant whole wheat couscous. This will work with like normal couscous, pearl barley will be lovely. Basically a nice kind of hearty grain. We're going to grab ourselves a pot. Normally with wholemeal couscous you're looking at about like a two to one. So 100 grams of couscous, 200 mils of water. And shall I be responsible and wear it out? Or shall I be rogue like? Ainsley Harriet and just go with my instinct. Wait, my instincts panicked me. <laughs> right, I'm actually going to boil some water. We're going to put a little bit of stock in there. So we're going to go for 300 because we need about 150. 
Will you calm down? We're going to whack the lid on and we're going to leave it for about 20 minutes as well. So these should time out really, really nicely and be ready all in one go. I'll be honest, that's kind of all the cooking I'm going to do today. <laughs> Whilst your couscous and squash are finishing up, we are going to give our parsley a rough chop, about half a bunch, and then we'll bring it all together. Ooh, soft and golden, absolutely delicious. That is what we want. And we've got a little bit of the spice and the oils just catching on the bottom of the pan. That is why we're going to use this roasting dish to prep everything in so we don't lose any of that flavour. Right, to our dish then, we're going to add in our couscous. Then we're going to go in with our parsley, of course. Give that a good mix around. We're now going to go in with some feta. And I'm just going to crumble this in, actually. And we're going to finish off with some lemon zest. Right, we're going to have a little try of this and see what we want to do seasoning-wise. Oh my days. That is delicious. <gasps> oh, I love this challenge. We should do this so much more often. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's what you expected me to make, Schwartz, but that is delicious. And frankly, it doesn't need anything more to it. That baharat has got the pepper in it. It's got that lovely pepperiness. The dry coriander in the baharat with that fresh parsley is outrageous. On top of that, the feta adds your salty seasoning. So that is perfect. Sorry, I've skipped ahead to the tasting because I thought I was going to need to like enhance or something. Thank you so, so much to Schwartz Herbs and Spices for challenging me today. Tried, tested, and frankly, adored. I think these are absolutely brilliant. The most basic of ingredients are just now singing with fantastic flavour. And there's so many to try, guys. If you want to know more about these, make sure you check all those links in the description box and get cooking. Tell me what you've created in the comments. And guys, if you fancy subscribing, I mean, I'm here every Tuesday. So why not come and join the party? Until then, thanks so much for watching. Bye! Holy cow! so much more often. <gasps> I love that. Oh, give me another five ingredients. I'll do another one.